Hey everyone, today I'm gonna make a 3D platformer in space because that is a totally original idea that no one has ever thought of before. I've been playing platforming games ever since I was a kid, so I've always wanted to make a game in that genre. The idea for this one is simple, I want to make each level a day of the week and then they'll be themed after the planet that corresponds to that day. So for example, Monday corresponds to the moon, Saturday corresponds to Saturn and so on. I'm gonna start off with probably the most important thing, the movement. I want the controls to feel super snappy and smooth, almost like controlling butter. So I borrowed the first person controller that Danny made a few years ago for his game Carlson. And after adding it to my game, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like it. It's hard to explain, but I think that especially when you jumped, you couldn't really control the player that much. You would just go forward no matter what. And it was also missing the wall run movement. After trying to change a few values, which didn't solve anything, I finally decided to use another script, made by Dave. So I made a simple map to test the new movement, and then I made the player jump, slide, wall run, wall jump, crouch, and dash. I also added coyote time so that you have a few extra frames to jump after you've left the platform. This alone already made jumping feel a lot better, so I was confident that this was the movement I wanted to use. When that was done, I started looking for free assets online, specifically some space planets to use. I found a few that I liked, so I started testing them on a basic first level. I took some inspiration from Super Mario Odyssey. That game has a constant stream of new ideas, so I wanted each planet to have one or two unique mechanics, so that you never know what will come next. And because Monday is related to the moon, I made the first level on its surface, with a very good view of planet Earth. The main gimmick here is that gravity shifts depending on if you're inside or outside these domes that I made in Blender. Does it make sense? No, but platforming games aren't really about making sense, are they? I mean, just look at Super Mario Bros. Wonder. How high were the devs when making this game? Anyways, I wanted each planet to have two levels, so the first two are done. There weren't any major bugs here, the only one worth mentioning is this one that my brother found while playing the game. I don't know how, but apparently we are playing Mario Kart now. Next is Mars, and I decided to switch to Unity's Universal Render Pipeline to spice up the graphics a bit. And uh, well... Oh, and by the way, most planets have literally the same terrain on the ground, I just changed the color of the lighting to make them distinct. I decorated the sky with an asteroid ring and the sun. After that, I made the third level with these bounce pads and the fourth one with these new very consistent speed boosts. Yeah. Now Mercury was actually very straightforward. The first level has these moving platforms, which are very common in these kinds of games. And in the second one, I wanted to add some moving obstacles, so I made this spawner that shoots out some asteroids that you have to avoid. After that was Jupiter, and I couldn't remember anything interesting to add for decorations, so I said screw it, rainbow trees! And the main mechanic here is the high gravity, so your jumps are very weak on this planet. On the second level, I made the player shrink in size, and to be honest, this mechanic was kinda buggy. And because I'm a professional game developer who wants to deliver quality products, I just left it as is. So have fun playing! Next on the list is Venus, and uh, well, I couldn't really do what I wanted to for this planet. My idea was to make gravity shift in direction, so that you were able to jump on walls and ceilings, but unfortunately the camera had other plans. So I scrapped this and made some platforms that switch on and off when you jump. I still ended up liking this new mechanic, but I really wanted to do the other one as well. Maybe someday I'll be able to, who knows. What's next? Oh right, Saturn! This one was fun. I got inspiration from the Mario Kart bug and made the rings of this planet super fast and slippery, so you're constantly moving fast, and to beat the level you just have to do a full lap around the planet. And finally, the sun. Because there are two final levels, I wanted them to be more difficult, so I watched a tutorial on how to make a fire effect appear on screen and made it so that if you spend a few seconds on the sun, you'll burn to death. Nice. Oh, and I also added these blue platforms that cool you down and reset the timer of the fire screen. I won't show the final level on purpose, because I want it to be a surprise, but if you're interested, go play the game and see for yourself. Now the game is done, right? Right? Wrong. The cool stuff is done, but now I need to add the boring stuff, like the menus, UI, and the basic progression of the game. 
So let's start with that last feature. I made it so that at the end of each level, if you touch this green rock, you'll move on to the next one. And also, if you fall to the ground, you'll respawn at the start. I don't know why it took me so long to add that. Next, I added a timer on every stage, and when you reach the end, it shows how much time it took you to beat the level, and your lowest time on that level. This will make the game super fun to speedrun, which is always my intention. Then I started working on the title screen, and let me tell you something, on pretty much every game that I've worked on until now, there has always been a script, just a single script that seems to enjoy destroying my dreams. This time it was the level select script, and I'm so glad that I was finally able to do it with some help after 8 or 9 failed attempts. Now you need to complete the latest level to unlock the next one on the main menu. Oh, and I also added these crystal icons that only show up if you've already collected the glorious crystal on that level, so try to find them all to 100% the game. Next on the list of stuff that made me question my sanity and overall capabilities, this button, that deletes all of your progress so that you can restart the entire game if you want to. I also spent way too much time on this, and what it does is... Wow, exhilarating. I also made this cool animation when you want to start the game, and decorated the background to be more pleasing to the eyes. And finally, after adding a pause screen, end screen, playtesting, fixing some bugs, and reworking some of the player movement values, I had a fully complete 3D space platforming game. And it only took me one, I mean two, I mean four weeks to develop. Woohoo! So yeah, go play it right now, the game is completely free, which seems like a great price, I mean, just saying, and try to beat my best time, which is currently uh, this one, for the entire game. And as you can see in this list of planets that I added, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find Uranus. I'm so sorry, please subscribe.